Hey Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little different and uh, hopefully fun. <laughs> I found this uh, at Home Goods for $4.99 the other day while we were doing some Halloween shopping. And I think I knew color forms were back, but I hadn't seen them in stores, I guess because I just don't go, I don't know what section they would even be in. This was in the toy section at Home Goods, which is obviously quite different from the bigger, more separated toy sections in Target or Walmart or whatever, where like games and Hot Wheels and figures are all in different places. Home Goods, everything's just kind of stacked on a shelf. So this obviously jumped out at me this brightly beautiful colored packaging uh really caught my eye obviously i'm always on the lookout this is a little different ninja turtles logo but it's it's close to the traditional logo actually and, and now that i'm just noticing it like it really should be the old school logo but whatever these are nickelodeon ninja turtles this is a newer product i don't know if we've got a year on here or not 2019 uh so these might have been around for a couple of years and i just hadn't seen them before but for five bucks i just thought you know what this will be a fun thing to open up and to have because while i don't love the ninja turtles cartoon the original cartoon uh there's a lot of nostalgia here and a color form set well why not i can see the little fancy sticker on here color forms classics retro replay edition I would love to know what else is available, and I'm going to get online as soon as I'm done with this and find out. Uh, and I do know that Color Forms has an Instagram feed, so go check that out and see what else they've got. Uh, but just really nice looking, brightly colored box. Crisp, sharp graphics. Uh, looks great. So now, we're going to take our trusty 1964 box cutter. We're going to slice right through those adhesive circles. And we're going to see how difficult it is to get this box open. Oh, easy enough. So let's see what we've got. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh, right out of the box. We're seeing some success here. Uh, all right. So we have a little instruction booklet. Let's scoot that over and let's see what we've got here. It is just, just like the old color forms I had when I was a kid. Uh, some of which I still have now. You can go back and watch... I believe I did a review of a G.I. Joe color form set. Uh, if I didn't, I need to. Uh, so it tells you how it works. No cross-sell, though. I'm a little disappointed there's no cross-sell here. I'm always disappointed when there's no cross-sell. So let's take a look and see. Is it just the one? Yeah, just the one background, just like the old sets were. But they've done a really cool thing. And we've got the sewer and then the street above with the party wagon. Uh, art looks cool. Uh, not not quite as crisp as what was on that front cover, but it's like a stylized, cool art. It's fine. Uh, we've got the, the classic Terrapin Brothers. Wow, I feel like that should be pizza. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I'm going to feel really dumb when one of you points it out in the comments, but that's nothing new. Uh, all right, so we've got two sheets of color forms here. You can see all of the different characters and accessories, so you can sort of create your scenes. And, oh, there's the classic logo that should have been on the top of the box. So that's, that's what we're going to do first, is we're going to get that logo right there. And these are completely reusable. Uh, they're, they're like static cling stickers. So what you do is you just put it on this glossy board, smooth it out a little bit and it stays in place and it'll they'll work like that for a long long time so i love this krang this is great we're gonna take him off and uh you know what i think we're gonna do is i think krang is gonna be running amok in the sewer we're not gonna put him up on the street he's gonna be in the turtle's lair causing problems meanwhile I think Bebop is going to be up on top of the party wagon. Rock steady. By the way, check out my reviews of the Super 7 Ultimates Bebop and Rocksteady figures. They're great, but you need to know what you think about them, or what I think about them, I guess. And then April 
is going to be standing up here on this rooftop filming all of the chaos going on. Oh no, what's happening? Krang's going crazy in the turtle's lair. He's threatening... Okay, now every once in a while you come up, you come on one that's like a little stuck still, but they'll pop right off. Uh, so Krang is threatening Splinter. Splinter, as we know, a helpless old rat with no kung fu skills or no uh, ninja skills whatsoever. So things are looking pretty dire. As a matter of fact, uh, we've got canisters of mutagen just getting thrown all over the place. Holy cow. Mutagen getting thrown out into the public. And then and then uh, they're dropping pizza slices. Pizza slices are just getting dropped all over the floor. Matter of fact, Splinter, Splinter was getting ready to eat a pizza. And Krang startled him so much by throwing mutagen at him that he dropped his pizza on the floor. And that, that my friends, things have gone too far. It, enough is enough. And it's time for a change. Michelangelo comes jumping out of the sewer hole. Uh, Donatello is riding his skateboard into battle. Oh, man, there's not enough room. He's, he's jumping up out of the sewer on his skateboard, getting ready to kick Rocksteady in the face. Raphael, uh, there's not enough room for Raphael's skateboard. So uh, he's he is just going to be uh, also coming out of a kind of an awkward angle to attack Krang, and then finally uh, Leonardo is just up here jumping past April towards Bebop to protect her uh, from Bebop, and then oh my gosh, uh, Krang is, gets kicked in the head by Raphael. And his robot body just explodes, making making a making a pow sound effect, and then Krang is just a brain on the ground screaming in embarrassment and agony, and then uh, after after that, uh, so Michelangelo is like, "Oh, you really don't need me down here anymore. Good job, Raphael," and he jumps up and ka kapow. Kicks Rocksteady in the face, and Rocksteady uh, dies, and so Michelangelo is just hanging out now, and then Leonardo Cowabunga's Bebop right in the chest, eliminates him, and stands on the turtle party wagon, and uh, then Shredder is over here under Rocksteady, kind of stuck. Okay, and Shredder jumps out and says, you incompetent fools, and picks up Krang, who says, no, Shredder, get me out of here, and they jump away, and then Raphael lands on the ground, and Donatello kicks the mutagen canisters out of here, And sits on this pipe. Oh, and puts his skateboard away. And uh, Michelangelo kind of squats down on the floor over here. And Leonardo does crazy ninja flips and sits on the top of this sewer tube. And then April is like, hey guys, you did a really good job. I'm going to, let's film, let's film this party. And then she throws a pizza out into the middle of the room. And everybody lives happily ever after until next time shredder attacks i'll get you turtles i'll get you so there you go teenage mutant ninja turtles color forms available at your local home goods perhaps other places i don't really know i just thought this would be fun i hope you agree please like subscribe share and remember it's Pizza time! Cowabunga, dudes. Smash that like button if you like needless things.